Craig High School closed for five days over water. That means hundreds of kids cannot go to class and no one knows when they can go back. So who's to blame for all of this? 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards is digging for answers for us. Tara? Well, Carolyn, there's a lot of important people with big jobs that are involved in this, but no one is taking the time to talk to parents and students, telling them here at Central High School what exactly is going on or when it will be fixed. And as usual, Detroit students are going to bear the brunt in all of this. Senior Paris Ross has missed school for four whole days, but not because she wants to. Classes have not been in session since Wednesday because there's no running water inside Central Collegiate Academy. I think it's a setback for us with finals coming up and everything. And the fact that we can't be here to study. Paris says her mom is left with little information about what exactly is going on. Well, she's been trying to get in contact with the principal and see what's happening and when are we going to be able to come back to school. We have been digging for answers all day. According to the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department, there is a problem with the pipeline. They are assisting the Great Lakes Water Authority in an investigation, but can't comment since it's not their case. The Great Lakes Water Authority's COO would not make time to discuss the matter with 7 Action News, but released this statement. Quote, the Great Lakes Water Authority, GLWA, is working collaboratively with the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department to resolve the issue of low water pressure at Central High School. Currently, the GLWA is conducting pressure tests to determine the cause of the problem and hopes to resolve the issue as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, while about 350 students remain in limbo about what happens next, this afternoon, the EAA released this statement, quote, while the GWLA is working to determine the cause of the water pressure issue on upper floors of the building, we are exploring all options to get our students back in the classroom, including temporary relocation. We are also in conversation with the health department regarding plans for reentry after we determine a solution. We are communicating with parents, students, and staff every day to provide them updates. But for students like Paris, they say they cannot afford to miss another day. I do want to get back in school because um, we have senior defense coming up and we need that to graduate. So if I can't get that finished, then I'm pretty much going to be here over summer and a lot of other seniors too. And while this problem remains under investigation, the EAA says that they hope that these students can get back to some normalcy soon. Live on Detroit's West Side, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. You gotta hope. Thanks a lot, Tara.